want to stop accidentally clicking the crouch button, well, turn on the slide hint in the settings, then boom, your accidentally crouching is now fixed, because turning on the slide hint shows you if the slide button is available. So, here are the best settings that you need to turn on as soon as possible the next time you play Call of Duty Mobile. Alright, the next settings you need to turn on, is enabling left hand tactical. This means that you could throw your tactical grenade using your left hand, whenever you are holding a weapon even if you are walking around or running. Helping you throw a grenade such as a stun grenade to an enemy near you very very fast. Here is the difference between turning this on and not. Next up would be turning on variable rate shading. You could see this at the very bottom of audio and graphics, just scroll down and you will find it. By selecting this, you are reducing the render resolution of some areas or objects. This just means that your overall rendering performance will be improved, so immediately turn this on if you have a trash device or a low-end device. Now, the next settings tip would be turning on teammate marker. Turning this on gives you knowledge of who your teammates are by showing you their numbers on the map. This helps you not get confused on who the players are that are still alive to gain map control. You should also turn on Perspective Teammate. As you can see, by turning this on, you can see your teammates through the walls. It's like you're hacking except it doesn't get you banned. The only issue with this, is that it might increase your ping. Oh my god bro. Oh, hell no. Well, since we are talking about pings, turning this secret setting will help you lower your ping and higher your frame rate. This secret setting that not many people know about is called shader preload. By clicking this on you will gain a significant advantage and it comes to internet speed versus your enemies. So, if you have a low frame rate, you have to turn this on now. Next up would be changing your hit effect to a dark color. You might be wondering why is it important. Well, changing your hit effect to a dark color helps you not get distracted, especially when your target enemy is very close to you. You should also change your effect style to tactical effect, so hitting your enemy doesn't give off a huge explosion effect that would cover up their entire body, such as the classic flash effect, and would result into death. This next one is really one of the best settings that people don't usually know existed, well this is the 8 slot wheel in the quick message settings. Having 8 slots in your quick message gives you more messages that you could communicate to your teammates to help you win the game easily. Roger that. You can also edit your quick chat to put the message that you like, by clicking this edit button, then click this add button. Making your joystick very small can also make a major difference towards your game. A smaller joystick makes you control your running and walking with precise. Meanwhile, a bigger joystick makes it much harder to control the way you run and walk because of how big it is taking over your entire screen. By the way, if you want to know Call of Duty mobile glitches that you can do in ranked games, click this video, alright bye.